get a third 43-inch monitor, they said. It would be fun, they said. Turns out, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it actually is kind of fun. Hey, what's up YouTube? Jason here with Bite My Bits, and in today's video, I want to talk about gaming with triple 43-inch 4K monitors. Or, to be a little bit more specific, using the NVIDIA surround technology where you basically make those three monitors appear as one monitor while you're playing a game to give you that surround feel. Now this is perfect for things like racing simulators, flight simulators, or the game I'm going to showcase today which is Elite Dangerous, which is basically a space simulator. But I will tell you this, it kind of sucks. Okay, yes, it does suck a little bit, but having three 43-inch monitors set up in surround mode, playing your favorite video game, whether it's a racing simulator, flight simulator, whatever, it is very awesome. It really helps suck you into the game, you know, just kind of give you that, that full immersed feeling of just being in the cockpit and flying around and doing your thing, and it is really fun. The only thing is, is that when you're using a triple monitor setup like that, assuming you are kind of a productive person, whether that's, you know, photo editing, 3D rendering, video editing, whatever, utilizing all three of those monitors to look as if they're one monitor in your computer, that actually kind of makes things a little bit cumbersome. And by that, I really mean that uh, unless you're playing the game, you don't want it to be in surround mode. You want it to be in three separate monitors because having things in different windows on different screens is way easier to manage when you have three separate monitors in windows. If you set it up to where you have all three of your monitors being viewed as one, then you know your start menu is in the very far left-hand corner, like all the way over there, and then your taskbar and all your little icons are on the complete opposite side so especially with 43 inch monitors you're constantly going back and forth looking for what you need not to mention that each screen will not have its individual uh, programs shrunk down to that taskbar for that screen so hypothetically if you want to run multiple browser windows maybe each browser window and set of tabs has its own theme to it like for example if I want to play a video game in one screen and then I have you know a Chrome browser opened with possibly many tabs on the left hand screen I know that all those tabs within that browser have to do with the game so if I want to look something up uh, which I have to do a lot in a game like Elite Dangerous I can go to that browser and it's easily manageable but when you have it all stretched onto one for one you actually lose that ability to easily look and reference things while you're playing obviously because you're using those screens to play and not to do research uh, but two everything's just on the far left hand side of the screen so you just have to click on it find the browser and hope it's in the right location when you want to look at it so what I'm really trying to say is that if you want these three monitors set up like I do behind me you really need another one up here or two or three more up there that way you can have those as separate screens and you can keep stuff where they need to be and be able to reference stuff easily without having to be hassled by everything another example are things like icons or widgets that you might run on your desktop if you switch from one monitor to three monitors or three monitors to one monitor using the nvidia surround it all gets screwed up it's super annoying now I've actually downloaded a program that is supposed to save the locations of my desktop icons. So next time I actually feel like sitting down reorganizing my desktop icons, I think I should be able to save those locations. So anytime I wanna switch back and forth and they all get messed up, I can use that program to revert back to the saved positions. So that is one way for me to you know, kind of balance out the headache from switching from three monitors to one monitor. Um, but it is definitely something to consider because I use desktop icons a lot. I have a lot of things on my desktop, but I also like to keep them organized, um, almost to an OCD point. Everything has its own little slots. Everything has its own little spot. I mean, I want them to stay where they are. Switching back and forth and messing them all up is super aggravating. But hey, enough about that. Let's jump right into showcasing what it's like to game on triple monitors in a game like Elite Dangerous. This is a space simulator game that I've probably been playing three to four weeks. I initially tried it out, didn't like it, and I wanted to return it within the two hours uh, limitation on Steam, and then I found out I did like it, so I bought it again. So I've been playing it, it's been fun, and getting a third 43-inch monitor for me, like I was on the fence of getting one. I really couldn't find a reason to get one, but I really wanted to, you know, add some symmetry to my setup. But I, I didn't actually make the purchase until after I started playing Elite Dangerous. And I'm not saying that Elite Dangerous and the surround gaming was the determining factor. It was just, it was more of the straw that, that broke the camel's decision back. 
pretty much it gave me that one last excuse, that one last reason. Hey, get that third monitor and then you can set up and you can have that surround gaming uh, and you can enjoy Elite Dangerous in its fullest glory at 4K with three screens and it's going to be amazing. So I did that and here we are. So looking at the screen, I, it's kind of hard to get all of these monitors into one. So I'm going to probably have to reposition this uh, just to try to show you all of them because the wall is right behind this camera. So I can only go back so far. So I think I'm going to have to move it over to the side here, see if I can get a wider shot of the setup. And uh, what I'll do is I'll get into the game, I'll exit the station that I'm currently docked at, and just kind of show you what it's like to fly around a little bit, and show you what, it, what it's like to game on three surround setup 43 inch 4K monitors. It's pretty epic, it's awesome when you're doing it, but when you want to switch back and forth, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Also, before I show you, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Steve off of Twitter for helping me learn to play the game, kind of get involved with some of the different aspects with it, and, and thoroughly start enjoying this. He was right. It was a game that I can enjoy, and it just took a little bit of time to learn it, uh, much more time than the two hours that was allocated through the Steam refund policy. So thank you, Steve. I appreciate you. And now let's check out that setup. Okay, so with the three 4K monitors being pushed off of a 1080 Ti, it looks like I'm getting 39 to 40 frames per second. So it's not the smoothest thing, but it's also running a fourth monitor up there. I'm still hovering around that 40 frames per second. Too much. I think I gotta wait for this guy to go through. I'll get a fine. While I'm waiting, you can kind of see how it surrounds 41 frames per second, surrounds everything. I can see everything on the left and right. The only thing I don't like though is that. On the side screens, things look a lot closer than what they actually are. Uh, and I'll show you when I get out of the station, actually. So while it's awesome to be able to see everything on the side, like the uh, left and right panels, things do get a little distorted. So if I give you an example of showing you what the uh, station looks like in my front screen, and then put it on one of my side screens, you can see how it looks way closer than what it actually is. If I can find it. I think I lost it. Okay, so here's the first example um, when you're playing with surround, at least with this game. I mean, every game's probably going to be different, but with this game with Elite Dangerous, here's what the uh, the station looks like being right in front of me. But if I turn to the left, all of a sudden it makes it look like the station is like right up near me, and I'm not really I don't understand that because. If I look at that screen, I feel like I'm right up right up against the station, but in reality, it's like five kilometers away. And if I turn around like this again, I feel like I'm much farther away. So it's just kind of a weird distortion effect that when I'm mining, like I tried to do mining the other day, and I felt like I was really close to some rocks or boulders and, and stuff that I was trying to mine, that I was actually a little worried about hitting things because they're popping up on the right hand screen or the left hand screen and they're farther away than what they actually look like so it's hard to judge what's on the left hand side of your screen 
But if we go to the galaxy map here, I'll show you what it's like to go to warp somewhere. So I'm going to fly over to Blanty. Right now I'm at Ray Station. It's what I've kind of made my primary station as. Get him 58 to 60. Four, yeah. Three, now 30 two, frames per second. One, and I'm, I'm staying around 30 to 39, back up to 40, and settling about 60. So I still get decent frame rates, but I am running three 4K monitors, so I can understand why it's not always at 60. See, that sun just looks like it's like right there. It's hard to judge. Just gonna go back to the right gateway real quick. Frame shift drive charging. Flying near the sun gets me about 40 to 50 frames per second, it looks like. I don't think I ever dip below 30 frames per second. And I do have the Imperial Cutter. pretty cool. Bought one of those little paint jobs for it. It's so peaceful. <laughs> By the way, if you do play this game, the whole docking thing, you have to buy a module to do that. And you could use that spot for something else, like more passenger cabins. 2,000 meters from touchdown. Or whatever else that you can fit in that slot. But I will not leave home without a docking computer because I absolutely hate docking my ship myself. I hate it. Touchdown confirmed. Command system shut down. Welcome, Commander. 
So there you have it. That's my Imperial Cutter. It's uh, pretty much all A rating. If you're familiar with this game, I have everything you know A class that actually is useful to be A class. Some things I make uh, D class or E class because they have a uh, they give me a, a higher jump range. But for the most part, this thing is decked out. Only thing I'm missing is my uh, frame shift drive is engineered level five for distance. Uh, for jump distance, but I haven't engineered really much of anything else. Um, so I still have a lot of engineering to do to actually make this thing fully ducked out. Um, but that's a lot of credits just with the cutter alone and everything I had to buy for it. So, so there you have it. Gaming on triple 43 inch 4K monitors. I was averaging usually between 30 to 40 frames per second. Sometimes it gets up there to 60 frames per second, which is where I have it locked at. Um, but, you know, it, it's a good frame rate, but it's not always at 60 frames per second. Now this is with the 1080 Ti. It's definitely a beastly card and it is definitely a good experience. I mean, I don't have any complaints, especially when it's pushing three 4K monitors at that frame rate. So. Uh, if anything, I'm a little impressed, but hey, maybe the new graphics cards out there, the 11 series, you know, will be able to push it to 60 all the time. I don't know. And I don't even know if I want uh, an 11 series graphics card because the 1080, honestly, is a pretty stout card. So Now, when it comes to having to switch back and forth from the NVIDIA surround mode to just the regular triple screen setup, uh, honestly, if like I'm getting off work and I just want to play like an hour, maybe run a couple missions and... and you know, just kind of play a little bit before I log off or do something else. I don't go through the, the hassle of actually switching it. It's only on, you know, days like maybe a weekend where I want to actually sit down for a few hours or more and play the game and want to be immersed in the whole thing like during that long-term gameplay. Uh, just because it is kind of a pain in the butt. Like right now, I want to take the video that I just shot, gra uh, pull that into Premiere Pro, and start editing this video for you. And to do that, I will definitely have to switch it to the triple screen mode just so I could work with, you know, the video files and Premiere Pro and, you know, just everything. I mean, in order for me to be, to be productive, I need three separate monitors. Uh, I just can't work with one you know, big monitor, it just doesn't work. But hey, if this was a dedicated gaming rig and I could just have it set up like this all the time and not have to switch back and forth, that would completely get rid of that downside and this whole thing would just be awesome all around. So guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them down below. I know it's a little bit of an offbeat, you know, video, but I have been playing this game and I've been super impressed by this monitor setup that I've been uh, playing with. So I just kind of wanted to share it with you. I can say this though, I have some plans. I have some ideas to really take this setup to another level and make it look really good. It's going to take possibly a new desk. I was even thinking about doing another one of these desks because it's an adjustable desk. It's just a big flat, you know, uh, table that I can fit a lot of stuff on. So I might do another one of these tabletops, another sit stand, you know, or take these little motors or whatever. And I might use that and do a whole setup video where I revamp my computer room and turn it into a gaming room that I can also do production on. So um, I, I think that might be coming soon, but I also have some other things in store that you should uh, look out for. I don't want to, you know, give you any spoilers, but got some big upgrades coming. So again, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a good day.